Hello, this is Hero Brewing Company, and I do a beer vlog, which basically means I try a different uh, type of beer before I try to brew the beer. Uh, I brew beer, obviously, and uh, you can see my past brewing videos. I'm just now putting the old stuff up. I apologize. I recorded it years ago. Um, we're pretty advanced now, uh, but um, right now I'm kind of in the... Uh, uh, I've done Oktoberfest, American Lights, I've done Loggers, um, I've done IPAs. Um, now I just want to try to make a drinking beer. Um, so, in preparation for that, I am drinking like everyday beers. Um, so like your Yinglings, your, um, your Bud Lights, uh, your Miller Lights, um, your more everyday um, craft beers. So. Uh, not so much as those, but maybe like a Samuel Adams or something, or Yingling's is, is, is a good example. But today we're going to be drinking the uh, Yingling Original, which is the Chippewa Pride beer. Here's the label. You can see the Indian head there. Their twist top, I'm not really a fan of that because uh, I can't reuse the bottles. Um, like I said, I, uh, I do brew my own beer. So, uh, so I can reuse the bottles if um, it's a pop top. But I respect the twist top and I'm not above it. Uh, so it says Line and Kugels, Jacob Line and Kugel Brewing Company, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, USA. If you've never been to Wisconsin, um, great place to visit. Uh, my favorite place in Wisconsin is Wisconsin Dells, actually. Um, just, just, just saying. J uh, it says uh, J. Line and Kugel Brewing Company, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. Uh, Twelve fluid ounce. Uh, blah blah blah. There's not. Um, Four point seven percent alcohol by volume. Uh, Chippewa Pride beer since eighteen sixty seven. That's crazy. Brewed by the Lion Kugel family for six generations. Um, so, that's schnazzy. Here's the beer cap. I always like to show you guys what the beard cap is. Uh, this is the 150 year anniversary of uh, Lion Kugels. If you, uh, if you have good math skills when it says 1867. So, immediately, I mean right at the Right at the gate, it's a straw colored beer. Uh, so it's like an American light made in America. Uh, so I have brewed this before. I've brewed American light beers before. I was kind of looking for um, a middle of the road, like a, an American light lager hybrid, if you will. Uh, so, but this smells like an American light. It's got that real straw odor to it. Yeah. And it has the same taste. So, 4.7% alcohol. It's a real um, watered down beer. Uh, and, and it kind of tastes like that. You don't taste the alcohol. It's not pungent. Um, it's not overpowering on the alcohol at all. You kind of get the straw flavor. Uh, you do get a lot of. Uh, um, like a barley taste to it, malt and barley, um, not so much any hops whatsoever, um, which um, for me I like, I don't like the overpowering hop taste, I like a little bit in there, but I like it in um, kind of taste notes. So your first drink, um, you taste the barley, the second drink, bam, that's when you taste the hops. Uh, that's how I like to make my beer, it's just the different times you put the, heart, uh, the hops in there uh, during the brewing process. That's good beer. Um, it's really crisp. Um, so that'd be the word that I would describe that as crisp. You can drink some of that on a hot day. You can drink some of that on a cold day. Um, that's good beer. So for the everyday beer uh, category, uh, from 100 to 0, 100 being the best everyday beer I've ever had, 0 being the worst, um, which would, like 0 is like your you know, you're, you're, for a six pack, you pay like 
a dollar ninety nine, and you guys know what I'm talking about. Not nat, uh, natty light either, like lower than that. Um, I'd give this a, I'd give this a sixty, and I'm pretty uh, um, strict on my grading process, just because I make the beer myself, so I kind of know what it uh, it is supposed to taste like, but um. You know, it, it doesn't have a lot of complex flavors in it or odor, but it's still good and it's still crisp. So, I'm um, in refreshing. So, um, go to uh, a place and try a, uh, a beer you've never had before, and uh, and watch my other channels or my other uh, videos. And uh, I do have other channels, but. Uh, Watch my other videos and uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I do a beer vlog. Um, I do a lot of different types of beers uh, before I actually try brewing one specific type. Um, kind of perfectionist like that. Uh, so, like before I did my Oktoberfest, I think I tried probably 150 Oktoberfest beers um, within the month of basically September through November. Um, I tried 150 different types of Oktoberfest before I actually made the Oktoberfest. Uh, so it's it's, uh, uh, it's pretty crazy. But it, anyways, so try uh, Lion Kugels. You know, family-owned companies. I'm all about that. Um, hopefully, mine will be as well one day. Uh, Wisconsin Dells. I put that place is crazy. It's, it's fun. I mean, I got little ones, so you know always something to do there. I've never been to Chippewa Falls, um, but you know what? I'm thinking a uh, road trip's on the way. All right. God bless and cheers.